This is so fancy. Look at how cute this is. It's personalized. What is this? Guys, look how Christmassy this is. How would you say shopping has gone, Mum? Very good. It is launch day. I am so happy with it. How festive are you feeling right now? So Literally so Christmassy. Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog, another kind of vlogmas style video. Currently I am in King's Cross Station in London, um, absolute shock, because today is the kind of like Christmas lunch, Christmas party for my management. It's actually in the middle of the day, it's like a Christmas dinner basically, and it's at 12 o'clock. It's currently half past 11, I've just got to King's Cross, so I'm just going to go across to the other side of London. I'm really excited, but a little bit nervous because Eve can't make it because she's obviously still at university. Um, and Hannah isn't on my management anymore, so I don't really have any like close friends on my management. Obviously, there's loads of people I know, um, but I'm just a little bit nervous because I've never really come to anything on my own before. But I think it'll be fine. Like I've really got on with my manager and like the other managers and the other like everybody's lovely. It's just I'm not great doing things totally on my own. But I guess I need to be because I'm about to go to Australia. So anyway, I'm now in Kings Cross and I'm getting the tube. Wow, guys, look at this. This is so fancy. So I found the building. I'm with Soph now. Soph's here and Jazz. You found the building. Well, I mean, I mean, we got so lost and we're still lost. We're inside it, we still don't know where we're going. There's like six floors, six different apartment departments. I don't even know what she said. We're just gonna wait here by this absolutely massive Christmas tree and hope that other people from our management turn up because this is a little bit of a maze, but the building is absolutely gorgeous. Right, we think we've now found the right floor. We're really not too sure. I'm gonna let these two go first in case it's wrong. Okay, this is right. Look at how cute this is. It's personalized. What is this? I don't remember what we ordered. Guys, this is the menu, but none of us really remember what we ordered or what this is. Do you know what this is? Literally, I'm just gonna cut into it and eat it and be like, yeah, that's what I thought it was. I was like, is it cheese? But I don't think it is cheese. Oh, it is cheese. Oh, amazing. Oh my gosh, Sophie's getting her one million plaque, guys. This is so exciting. <laughs> Look at how good this looks, guys. What is it? Sticky toffee pudding? Yeah. Sticky toffee pudding, yeah. Oh my gosh, totally forgot what I've ordered, but this looks so good. It's suddenly gone really quiet. Okay. This is behind the scenes of a TikTok being filmed. I've never seen anything so funny. <laughs> that we came in about two years ago. Was it two years ago? A year and a half ago. And we saw a mouse. If you remember that vlog, that was a throwback. That was the first time I'd ever been to Rev. I've been many a time since then. Um, however, tonight we're just on the soft drinks because I actually do have my car um, at the train station. However, Liv just got ID'd for these. For two soft drinks. Two soft drinks, a Coke and an apple juice. And they made her come back over here to get her ID. And I was like, he gave me such negative energy as well. I was like, was it the same guy that served me? I got a The guy who was trying to make drinks with me about not being a chef. And I was just like, <laughs> Okay, anyway, yeah, basically Christmas party was finished. It was really nice to see everybody. Really, really gorgeous hotel. If you ever get a chance to go in the Ned for any food, I recommend it. Very bougie. Felt very out of my comfort zone, but it was very nice. Um, and yeah, feeling, feeling Christmassy actually. It's really festive in London today. It's nice. Me and Liv have just got some food in Revs. It's like kind of, I want to say tapas -y bits, but it's not really. It's just like side dishes. <laughs> it's not tapas, is it? Little plates, you know what I mean? Got some nachos. Got some nachos. Oh my god, I forgot this was vegan. I thought it was chicken, it's not is it? You wouldn't know that literally three hours ago I had a full three course Christmas dinner, would you? How big is that? Never mind guys, I actually didn't eat that much of it because the portions were kind of small. What did you just try? These. Okay, I'm gonna try one. What is it again? Cash. I don't know what you just said, okay? Liv has been at this bar getting these drinks for the longest time. The service in here is so slow and I don't even know why because it's not even busy. It's like a really weird time to come to Revolution because it's like evening but it's not like drinking time yet. Here she comes. Guys, it's been negative energy 
such a slow drink as well aren't they thank you i really appreciate that we are heading back to bank via Leadenhall market which is one of my favorite areas in london so love it so christmasy so festive guys look how christmasy this is i haven't really felt properly festive until today but london just feels so nice and like i don't know christmasy i guess that's a hefty tree i'm back in my car when i tell you that it's cold i mean literally i uh, have this massive coat on and I can't stop shaking. I've just had to de-ice my car, which I've actually never ever done before because I never owned de-icer. <laughs> I've driven for two years and I've never owned a de-icer. How bad is that? Anyway, got some this winter, so de ice my car. Gonna drive home. It is quarter to 11, so I should be home for about 20 past. Not 20 past, 10 past 11. It's about 25 minutes. Oh, <laughs> it's cold. Hi guys, it is Tuesday and I'm currently in Leeds Trinity. I didn't pick the camera up at all this morning because I was in a rush. What is new? I was getting the train to Leeds. We've just arrived now. We've been in like two shops and now we're in Hollister. It's Christmas shopping day, which means that, ooh, a tune. I can't believe I just said tune to this Frozen song. Anyway, got distracted. We're in Hollister, they're playing the Frozen soundtrack and we're basically buying gifts for like the rest of the family, Harry, Tom, that coat's just jumped off the rack. Yeah, who else am I getting gifts for? That's kind of it really, isn't it? I've got a sunset mojito but the non-alcoholic version because I am in my car we drove to the train station um, and I really really like it we've come for dinner in Bella Italia which is our classic every single year at Christmas this must be our third or fourth year doing this fourth year coming to Bella Italia while we Christmas shop I regret my decision I got a pizza but now I want a lasagna that looks good though it smells amazing oh we could do half and half like a quarter and a quarter because you won't want to part with it so I'll have a quarter of that and you have a quarter of this we've finished up having lunch it is now raining quite badly we've come back into top shop we've actually got quite a lot of shopping done i never ever go shopping and actually buy stuff it's so rare like i come out and window shop all the time yeah i know and i'm the worst of looking in the shops and going oh i'll order it online that is literally me to a t but today getting everything it's great how would you say shopping has gone mum very good <laughs> we have got Bags so much stuff off. Literally, we've got bags in the bag, so you can't really tell. But I just took a boomerang or a video, I can't remember, from Instagram. I'll insert it on the screen because, honestly, guys, I don't think I've bought this much stuff since, like, we were in New York, which is impressive. Also, we're walking down the three million stairs in the Starbucks, but we're heading for the train now. We are back home, guys. I've put lashes on. This is so funny because I need to take some photos really quickly. Uh, well, not really quickly, actually. I just need to take them, but I didn't want to put actual lashes on because whenever I put lashes on, the glue like wrecks my actual eyelashes a bit so i've just rested them on the top of my lashes but i think they look pretty okay like for pictures say you're like this far away from me can't really tell at all so i'm gonna go and do the rest of my face kind of a bit more properly like lipstick and stuff and then i'm taking pictures because i've actually brought out a phone case so by the time you guys see this you will know about this already definitely but if you haven't seen my instagram i have launched a collaborative phone case with coconut lane which is so exciting i have been a fan of coconut lane since i started on youtube i started on instagram they reached out about a month ago and asked if I wanted to collaborate and I was like yes absolutely yes so the case is available to buy now if you order it now I'm not sure whether or not it will come in time for Christmas but if you've already ordered one um, if you've already ordered one during the week it definitely will arrive before Christmas now but obviously you can just order it anytime it's not limited edition but the pre-sale before Christmas was limited edition so there was basically a limited amount that were for sale that were guaranteed delivery before Christmas but generally they're just on sale on the website on the coconut Lane website I will leave a link below it looks like this I've been wearing it on my phone for the last three weeks so if you've seen my phone in any vlogs or anything you will definitely have seen it already um it's really really nice i designed it completely myself with tom like tom obviously helped me because he's like a graphic designer and the team at coconut lane helped me because they have their own graphic designers but i was such a big fan of it so my job for the rest of this evening is to shoot my own instagram content for that so it's just basically like product pictures and then a couple with me in but yeah i'm so excited about it i can't believe i'm finally telling you i can't believe it's like actually happened it felt like one of those things that was just going to be a thing that didn't happen but it has happened which is amazing and i love coconut lane so much i want to thank the team so much for working with me on that
Good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday, which means it is launch day. Today, the phone cases go live on Coconut Lane. I'm so excited about it. It is 10 minutes until launch. So I'm gonna sit and like post my Instagrams and stuff, ready for it to go up. And then I'm actually heading over to York pretty much as soon as I've put all of this live. I'm going to York to spend the afternoon with my friend Rachel, who's at university there, because York is like the most Christmassy place ever. And it's like a 50 minute drive. So I was like, I'll drive across, we'll go and have some lunch, we'll do a bit of shopping, even though I actually did get all my shopping done yesterday. But it'll still be nice to just have a browse and like meet her flatmates and stuff because she's been living in York since September um, and I haven't been yet so that'll be really really nice I've tied my hair up and I've got a scrunchie in it but because it's so short it just doesn't look like I've tied it up like I don't like it but also I'm trying to get it out of the habit of washing it every other day and it's a bit greasy so it needs to be up and this is as good as it gets. I love that for me. It looks kind of gross. Anyway, phone cases. Ah, it is live, guys. I'm so excited. I will insert the pictures that I put on my Instagram on the screen here and leave both links to both phone cases down below. As I mentioned, there is a tougher one and a thinner one. This is the thinner one on my phone. I have the iPhone XS, but it is also available in every iPhone make and model and also every Samsung make and model. I'm pretty sure there might be others, but I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah, two, two sizes. This is the thinner one. They also do a chunkier one and I will leave both links down below. As this video has gone up after Saturday there is no guaranteed Christmas delivery um, but it will be with you really really soon like Coconut Lane have a really quick turnaround time but obviously with it being Christmas season they just can't guarantee it. But yeah let me know your thoughts down below in the comments what you think of it. I am so happy with it. Anyway right now I'm running late. I really need to set off to York. I am now in York. I'm just waiting for Rachel. We've got a bit confused about where we're meeting each other. We've kind of muddled up the entrance of Primark that we're meeting at but she should be here any second. Rachel just went, am I allowed to eat? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 you can. We've come for lunch in a cafe called Dusk. Dusk. Yeah, it's up there. And this looks so good. It's like halloumi and beef, but I'm not gonna lie, I can't see any beef in the sandwich. So I think it's just halloumi, which is even better to be honest. Rachel's got like a fajita wrap kind of thing. Oh, it's all just falling out. Oh, thank you. Don't know what that is. He just brought us it. I think he said salad dressing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I got mine with chips. Rachel didn't because Rachel's healthy. But it's all good. Oh, Rachel. Rachel's a student. Okay, we've come out of that um, restaurant cafe. I guess it was a cafe. And the guy that was working there was really nice. He was like so jolly and talkative. Um, <laughs> I did tip him, but I didn't have any coins. Oh, yeah, true. I never have change, actually. That is such an issue. Whenever I go anywhere, I can't tip because I don't have change unless they give you it on the card machine. And he was really, really trying. He was, it. yeah, you could tell he so wanted. <laughs> but he wasn't. Maybe he was just a nice person. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think we're going to head back to Rachel's flat in a little bit. Or are we still shopping? for a bit. We're going to the Christmas shop. Oh, the Christmas shop. Rich, we're going on about this. I didn't even know York had a Christmas shop. <laughs> but yeah, it's freezing, guys. Like, it's already getting dark and I feel like, I feel like I've only we just got just up. there while it was getting dark. Yeah. When it was light and then we come out and it's like... But it's not even that late. It's like, well, to be fair, we were in there like two hours. Yeah. But apart from that... Yeah, you came three hours ago. We haven't really done anything. <laughs> no, but we've been shopping. I've got, yeah. got a bag, so, you know. Oh, I love this bit. This is my favourite bit of York, guys. I really like the ivy as well on the side. It looks really nice. Yeah, oh, nice. oh, that is the that ivy. Is the <laughs> <laughs> no, it was in the actual ivy. The door display is always so nice here. Guys, we're in this Christmas shop and I don't quite know where to look. There's like the most Christmas ornaments I've ever seen in one place. Ever. This is so lovely. Look at the sky. Oh, the camera's just not doing that any justice. There you go, you can kind of see that. The sky is like pink and purple, there's Christmas lights everywhere, there's Christmas music playing, how festive are you feeling right now? So Literally so Christmas, you have to go in and there especially. Can't even get over the sky. Christmas carols as well. I feel like that's York all over though, like yeah, traditional yeah. Christmas, because over here there's like some guy playing some kind of instrument. Look at the actual state of me. It's not really any better is it? I have spent the last hour and a bit sorting out Christmas presents in my office because I bought a lot in Leeds yesterday. Also, sorry, I'm home from York now, by the way. A couple of hours later, it's now almost midnight. Everybody's asleep <laughs> and have been for about an hour. I've been sorting out Christmas presents and then I ended up in this weird rut on YouTube where I've just watched back like two of my old university vlogs and just fell into this weird mood of like, I can't believe I did that. Like, I sometimes just totally forget that I lived in Leeds for a year. Like, well, I say lived in Leeds. I did come home a lot, but like I had a flat in Leeds and like did that. Like it just feels like a lifetime ago. And I've just fallen into this weird headspace where I was like, whoa, what the hell? Especially being in a student accommodation today when I went back to Rachel's, it was so bizarre to be in like a flat because I've been visiting all my friends at uni, but all of them are in second year now, obviously. So most of them live in houses. So it was weird to be back in student accommodation. And then I just watched that and I was like, whoa, I feel like I'm having some kind of mind warp. And it was such a weird experience for me because I had such a positive and negative university year. 
Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Wow. Irrelevant. Basically, I've been wrapping up Christmas presents and sorting them out and my memory card's flashing so I'll pick you up in the morning when it's voting day. Good morning, it is now Thursday. It is absolutely freezing cold, but it is the election today, which is slightly scary, slightly exciting, I don't really know. But we're going to vote. We've even got the dog with us um, and we're going to our polling station now. It is raining, it's actually lunchtime. Lottie, who are you voting for? The pink party. <laughs> Lottie's here, she's ready to vote. Absolute palaver. Oh my. So all three of us are registered to vote. Like I voted before, we're registered to vote, definitely 100%. We get to the place and they're like, oh, you're not on the register? And we were like, oh, what? And they were like, yeah, you're you're not registered to any address. Like, have you moved house? And we were like, no, we haven't moved house. Are you sure? And the lady was like, yeah. So now we're trying to get in touch with the, I keep forgetting the name of it. Mom, what is the name of it? County the county hall. To see if we can get sorted out. Oh, I don't really know what's going on. I'm really annoyed about this. So we will vote, we will get to vote somehow. Otherwise, we'll train ourselves to a railing. Yeah. <laughs> I just opened the advent calendar, the one that Tom has made me, and these are the things that were from the last few days. This looks like a whole month's worth of advent calendar gifts, but there are two Haribo packets, some chocolates, and then my personal favourite is this little Santa Claus, which is an actual, I think it's a rubber, but there was a Christmas tree version of it in the one from the other day, so now we've got two, and they can stand together. Where is it, Mum? Oh, it's up here with our little Christmas family. So we've got the two little things, I actually bought these in Iceland when I went to Reykjavik, so this one can stand there. Ah, oh no! <laughs> there we go. And then I got this last week when I was in Brick House. I have been wrapping up Christmas presents for quite a while. It's now the evening. I've just not had anything to vlog today, guys. You can see by the state of my office that it has been an office -y day. I have sorted out travel insurance for Australia. I bought a suitcase for Australia. I ordered travel plugs. Just like loads of little like bits and bobs that I just had to do that were boring but had been adding up and now I'm gonna go and watch the I'm a Celebrity coming out show with my mum and dad before the election results come in at 10 o'clock because I'm actually kind of low-key excited for that. I don't really know why, I don't know what the outcome is gonna be. Um, I've also been watching some vlogs and like advice videos on like first time backpacking but I kind of wish I hadn't done that because now it's kind of scared me because there's like loads of horror stories from hostels that I've just watched and I'm like why did I just watch that but I don't know I'm pretty confident that I'll be all right very nervous now I've seen that but I think like I don't know basically it's been a weird day very Australia themed and it feels very real now because it's three weeks today like three weeks right now I'll be landing in Dubai which is mad but I have successfully finished all of my Christmas wrapping presents down here presents over there couple down here and it's all done I I haven't ended this vlog but I'm gonna end it on my phone because my camera won't read to the laptop which is really really great I'm just having technical difficulties this week but thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and yeah I did stay up to watch the elections last night <laughs> it wasn't great I won't lie I'm not gonna get all political I did have a bit of a rant on Twitter I think was it Instagram to be honest I lost track but anyway I'm gonna end this vlog here so I hope you have enjoyed it if you have give it a huge thumbs up and I shall be back on my channel with a Christmassy kind of challenge on Tuesday so yeah back to like a kind of normal upload now between now and Christmas spent all of today pre-filming for when I'm in Australia so there is a lot of good content coming up trust me so subscribe down below to see that and I shall see you on Tuesday bye guys